So for many, the story of God's love for us makes no sense. In fact, it's often dismissed as nonsensical fantasy. What is your God? A child abuser? A, a God whose wrath must be satisfied by blood sacrifice? Now, those of us who believe, we're offended by such talk. But we need to admit that it's a strange story, even if we properly regard it as being a wonderful story. And this is not a modern problem alone. Paul told the Corinthians that the idea of Christ crucified was foolishness to the Greeks and a stumbling block for the Jews. We who believe here Christ crucified and were deeply moved by God's unrelenting love. The world hears the story and scoffs. Check out the new series on praiseandharmony.tv called Come to the Table by Dr. John Mark Hicks. The gospel invites all to the table. The gospel doesn't make a division between rich and poor, slave and free, male and female, black and white, Jew and Gentile. The gospel doesn't make those kind of divisions. The gospel unites at the table, and the table is the experience of communion between the rich and the poor, between the Jew and the Gentile, between the male and the female. In this eight-part study, you'll grow from in-depth lessons about communion. This series comes with PDF study guides and materials for small group leaders or families to use to help facilitate a more meaningful time of learning. I like the way Luther put it. When I am afflicted and a Satan is assaulting me, I don't run away from the table. I run to the table. Because this is a table of mercy. See, God is doing something at this table. I know we don't typically think about it that way. We tend to think about, what am I doing? I'm remembering, I'm proclaiming, I'm eating. But we need to think about what God is doing at this table. Come to the Table, available now at praiseandharmony.tv.